Hello guys, Igor from Noblex Solutions here and today we're reviewing the Anchir e-bike. That's a nice $700 affordable e-bike and today we're going to test it out and see what an affordable e-bike can do. Before we get started, if you enjoy our videos, smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to our channel. Despite the fact that it's an affordable e-bike, it's still packed with all the features you need in an electric e-bike. The bike features 26 inch wheels, it's pretty lightweight, we have front and rear disc brakes, we have a 36 volt 8.5 amp battery that can give you up to 30 miles of range or 50 kilometers. So that's pretty impressive for a really cheap electric bike. The bike came well packaged, the box included all the tools you need for the assembly. It took us about 20 minutes to set it all up, so we were ready to test it out. We've got a 250 watt motor here, so it gives us a considerable amount of power. It will easily get you up to 15 miles per hour on throttle and up to 20 to 23 miles per hour in the pedal assist mode. Given that it has a basic 36 volt 8.5 amp hour configuration, its acceleration does take a bit longer off-road, since off-roading requires more power than what's obtainable here. Again, since this e-bike isn't that powerful, its battery drains much slower. That's a win, since you won't need to worry about your battery draining out fast. And now to the useful features. We have a twist throttle here, which we found absolutely comfy to use by the way. There are two buttons on the left side of the handlebar. Those are for the horn and the headlight. And yeah, you also have a pair of basic Shimano gear shifters here. One really nice feature of this e-bike is that it actually has 21 speed modes. This is incredibly rare in electric bikes. Also, most times you only get one chain ring in the front on e-bikes, but then Cheer gives you three of them. This means that you have more gear ratio options and finer control over your pedal cadence for a wider range of inclines. Not bad, huh? In practice, all these are more gears that anyone really needs in an electric e-bike like this especially since the motor is already there to help you and you don't need to be in the 100% best optimized gear ratio all the time. But for those that want this wider range of features, here you go. And Cheer offers you a pair of shifters and 21 gears. The e-bike looks very clean and attractive. It weighs 47 pounds or 20 kilograms and it has just enough features to work and not feel cheap. You can charge the battery in the bike or you can take it out and charge elsewhere. You can even purchase a second battery from Anchir and change them in no time if your battery gets empty in the middle of your ride. If you want to have a great looking e-bike that can serve as both a daily commuter and for fun trail rides on the weekend, this is a really good pick. Here we see the control panel. It has three pedal assist modes, slow, medium and high. If you turn the pedal assist lights off, you can go into the full throttle mode and the bike will start moving by simply twisting the throttle. This is a really superb feature that other budget range e-bikes often lack. Moving on, the motor power is definitely enough for average riders, even though it might not easily climb very steep hills. For its max speed it only gets to 15 miles per hour, but it does that quickly. And if you rely on the pedal assist, you can cruise around at a speed of 20 miles per hour or 32 km per hour without much effort. The range depends on the pedal assist strength that you use. You can rock the throttle all the time, that's fine, just don't expect that 30 mile range. Overall this is a great e-bike for anyone on a tight budget that still wants to enjoy fun and effortless rides around the city. We believe this could also be a great commuter e-bike as well. You would probably need to add your own accessories like rear light and a pair of fenders though. That being said, don't get too carried away. And Sheer Power Plus is more of a basic trail or road bike than a serious mountain bike. Of course it can handle off-roading, but it isn't designed for extreme jumps. In terms of the comfort and the ride quality, we didn't expect much, but we were pleasantly surprised. Of course, this e-bike doesn't compare to the several thousand dollars high-end e-bikes, but it also doesn't have to. 
It's a basic fun bike to ride and cruise around, and it does just that, thanks to its smooth front suspension that makes even rough surfaces doable. From what we've seen and felt so far, this e-bike performs great for its price and is definitely a great entry-level e-bike. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed our Ensure e-bike review. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future electric vehicles videos. See you next time.